Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Hank Rise Soccer Center here in Saskatoon. Joining us now is the U14 Division II Provincial Championship Final here. Uh, this game will take place between the Waka Warriors and the QCBC Royal Ravens Purple. We are just getting ready to get started. Uh, my name is Emily Humbert alongside Janelle Sokolowski. We will be bringing to you some play-by-play -play and color commentary for this Division II Final. Just thinking back, we had the Division I final earlier uh, this afternoon. Janelle, what were some of the keys to success for those teams? I think that first match was just a real serve and pass game. So I think it'll come down to the same thing uh, this afternoon. Whichever team can be aggressive with their serves and um, have success on pass, we'll find success with the game. Absolutely. And speaking of aggressive serving, we have an ace for number one, Drew Jacobson, to begin the match here. Jacob put, Jacobson putting in a really hard flat float. Jacobson to serve once again here. Another good serve from Jacobson. She finds the far sideline, causes some confusion on the QCVC side. Jacobson to serve once again here. Another good serve from Jacobson. That one's handled by QCBC. Tight at the net. And at the net, a strong presence. That's number 16, Julia Free for Waka. Oh, pardon me. They're calling Free over the net. Might not have waited for that ball to cross the plane enough. That sends the serve to QCBC for the first time. This is number eight, Drew Allen serving. Strong serve from Allen, trickles across the tape, but that's picked up by Waka. Free ball sent over. And QCVC getting ready to send another free ball over. Unfortunately, that free ball is just a little wide. Great communication on the Waka side here. Heading back to serve now for the Warriors. This is number three, Jordan Harder. Good serve from Harder. Ball's a little tight, passed over the net. That overpass is handled by number 16, Julia Free. Number three, Jordan Harder back to serve once again here for Waka. That serve is handled by QCVC. Another tight pass. Free ball sent over, and the attack comes from Waka. Sutton high to the middle, and a good swing by QCVC. That's dug by the Warriors. And that attack from number 16, Julia Free, finds the court. Heading back to serve one more time. This is number three, Jordan Harder. Good serve from Harder. Passed up from QCVC and a free ball sent over once again here. Harder steps in to take that with her hands. Passed off the net. And an attack coming from QCBC. That's dug from the Waka Warriors. Free ball sent over once again here. Tight ball at the net. And an aggressive swing from number four, Katie Langelier, sails just long. That extends the Warriors' lead six to one here. Continuing to serve is number three, Jordan Harder. Set to the outside here. Nice shot down the line is tough to handle. That's a kill for Katie Langelier. Heading back to serve now for QCBC. This is number 23, Jenea Morrison. Strong serve from Morrison, passed up by the Warriors. Set high to the outside. And a good, sharp attack. That is number 17, Taylor Metternach. With that kill, number 16, Julia Free heads back to the service line for the Warriors, looking to extend their 7-2 lead here. And Free's serve is just a little short. Yeah. 
That service error sends QCVC back to the service line. This is number four, Katie Langelier. Langelier's serve hits the tape and rolls over. An attack out of the middle, and the block is there for QCVC. That was number one, Annika Screeden, shutting the door on the Warriors. Continuing to serve, this is number four, Katie Langelier. Passed up by Waka. Free ball being sent over by the Warriors, and the tip will be called on a carry. That cuts down Waka's lead to 7-5 here in the first set of action of the Division II U14 Provincial Championship. Continuing to serve is Katie Langelier. Good serve from Langelier. Free ball sent over by Free. Ball set outside here. And the tip to the pot does not fall. Good attack from the middle. And a well-placed tip from number one, Annika Screeden. It's nice to see the middles from QCVC getting a bit more involved here, Janelle. Yes, and it's nice to see also QCVC, uh, they're able to close the gap a little bit right now. So what was a, a bit of a hefty lead for Walk is just slowly closing down due to really tough serving from QCVC. Ball is tight at the net, and that is tipped over by number 12, Raylin Bouton. Good heads up play by Bouton there, seeing that open space on the QCBC side. That kill sends number two, Joelle Koning, back to the service line. Good serve from Koning, that's handled by QCBC. And two contacts will be the call on the setter, number 11, Tina Macknack. Heading back to serve once again is number two, Joelle Koning. Strong serve from Koning. That pass is tight at the net. Good heads up play from the setter for QCBC. That's number 11, Tina Macknack. Great effort though by Waka to try to keep that ball alive and return it onto the QCBC side. Absolutely. With that kill, number 11, Macknack will head back to the service line. And there appears to be minor confusion, I'm assuming, concerning the rotation and who is serving. We'll let our down official try to sort this out. While they're sorting this out, what are some other keys to success or to winning this game for both Waka or QCBC, maybe just based on what you've seen already so far in this game? I think just keeping the communication up throughout the whole set. Sometimes momentum can waver, but it's important that um, no matter what uh, score you're at, you're always making sure to be communicating to help keep that um, energy and keep that momentum going on your side. Absolutely. It appears as if we are, oh, not quite yet. It looks like we might have things sorted out here. A little more conversation happening here between the head coach of Waka. That is Corey Bickham. He's having a chat with the down official. While this conversation occurs, QCVC's huddling up, discussing some strategy, what they might need to be successful in upcoming plays. And it looks like we're good to go here, I think now for sure. So after that brief break, heading back to the service line, number 11, Tina Macknack. Good serve from Macknack. Wow. And a very well-placed serve. Why are those short ones so difficult to judge, Janelle? Uh, you just don't have as much time to react to them. Um, they're a little bit slower, but they're just um, not as close to you as the others, so you just don't have as much time. And now we're sitting at 8-8 eight, eight apiece. Macknack to serve one more time here. Ball passed up by Free. And a good play at the net from Annika Screeden. You just saw that same type of serve as well. Another one of those short serves. Just you need a little bit more time to react to it. And sometimes it just catches the, the passing a little bit off guard. 
Let's see if the Warriors can adjust here. QCBC has jumped out ahead 9-8 here in this first set. Good serve by Macknack. That's passed up by Waka. A back set to the right side for Waka. Nice swing. Ball set high to the middle. Screeden with the swing hangs on the tape, but still manages to fall. A little miscommunication on defense here from the Warriors. Tina Macknack will continue her serving run. Good serve from Macknack. That's passed up by Free. Free ball sent over from Waka. Nice pass up. That ball set nice and high to the outside. That ball is called in. So the big swing, I believe that is number nine, Bronwyn Evans. Her swing finds the court. That's a great high, hard swing. That's the, as an attacker, that's the swing you want to try to find is that deep corner. It's really hard to defend and um, often does go undefended like what we just saw. Another good serve by Macknack. Waka struggling to find an answer here to Macknack's serve. And with that H, with that ace, coach Corey Bickham decides he wants to talk things over. Now, when you're struggling with a server, what are some things you need to really make sure you're paying attention to and thinking about on serve receive? I think it's important that you want to make adjustments, so um, maybe switching up the passers if you have that opportunity. Also just um, talking lots, communicating with the people beside you so that um, they don't hit a seam and so you're just comfortable. And just overall just being ready, I think, for the serve to come. Sometimes it's more of a mental game than anything else. So just being ready for the serve to come at you and just be prepared to get in front of it and kind of take the ball. Absolutely. Great points. They say the serve and pass is kind of the game within the game of volleyball. Yeah. So it's obviously very important. And it's kind of being put on display here, just how important it is to keep and maintain that serve and give yourself a chance to be successful. Yeah, and it's totally a momentum shift. Someone goes on a two or three point run and it can totally change the momentum of the game. And in the same token, um, having really strong passing and being able to um, side out really can help your team too. So it definitely is a bit of a mental game within the larger game of volleyball. Absolutely. After that timeout, we'll see if Waka has a response. Continuing to serve, this is number 11, Tina Macknack. QCBC leads 12-8 here in this first set of action. Another strong serve from Macknack. That's handled by Waka. Attack sent over. Ball set high to the outside. The back set sent over the net. And the attack down the line falls in. That's a great shot from number 17, Taylor Metternach. She finds the line and helps Waka with a side out they so needed. Number 17, Taylor Metternach heads back to the service line for the Warriors. Good serve from Metternach. That's handled by QCBC. Ball set high to the outside. And the attack from number nine, Bronwyn Evans, falls a little short. Serving once again here is number 17, Taylor Metternach. Good serve from Metternach. And the free ball sent over. A well-placed free ball from QCBC. Ball is set inside. Nice high set to the outside. Good swing from Evans. Great response from number 9, Bronwyn Evans. She sees some hands in front of her, but uses it to her advantage, catching those hands before the ball drops. Heading back to the service line after a great stint in the front row, this is number one, Annika Screeden. Good serve from Screeden, handled by Waka. Free ball sent over from Waka. Ball is dumped from the front row setter. Waka can't quite recover. That's a smart heads up play from number eight, Drew Allen. Great effort by number 16 to try to get that ball going again. Serving again is number one, Annika Screeden. Screeden's jump float sails just a little long. That sends number 12. This is Raylin Boutin back to the service line. Boutin to serve. And Boutin's serve sails just right of the antenna. That sends number nine, Bronwyn Evans, back to the service line for QCBC. They're looking to extend their four-point lead as they lead 15-11 here in the first set. Good serve from Evans, handled by Waka, set to the outside. And we see number 16, Julia Free, looking for some hands on that tip. Did not quite find them as her tip sails just wide. 
Serving once again here is Bronwyn Evans. That serve is handled from Waka. Set to the outside. And Freeze attack falls just short. Head coach Corey Bickham decides he wants to talk things over. The Waka Warriors call their second timeout of the set. What do you think some things the head coach for Waka, Corey Bickham, is talking about with his team right now, Janelle? Uh, I think just as that uh, gap kind of widens between them and QCVC, it's important they just maintain their composure and refocus. So try and gain some momentum going forward to the second set. Hopefully to try and close that gap and continue to carry that forward for the rest of the game match. Absolutely. And I think as we saw in the game earlier today, it comes down to controlling some of the unforced errors as well. Yeah, exactly. I think it's anybody's game and um, in matches, the momentum goes back and forth. And so it's just important that you stay composed and stay control over your side. Absolutely. We'll see if Waka can come out and play a little bit cleaner here in the second half of this first set. Continuing to serve for QCVC is number nine, Bronwyn Evans. Good serve from Evans, passed up by Waka. Unfortunately, Setter can't quite get there. Bronwyn Evans extends her service run. Evans putting a lot of pressure on from the service line. And unfortunately, I might have jinxed her a little bit there, I think, Janelle. But a great service run from Bronwyn Evans. You see her back in service, Eve, ready to pass, ready to get going again here. Waka Warriors serving number one, Drew Jacobson. Good serve from Jacobson. And that pass can't quite be handled by QCVC. That's a great ace for Drew Jacobson. Jacobson to serve once again here. She's looking to cut down this 18-13 lead for QCBC. Good serve by Jacobson. Nice pass up by QCBC. The standing down ball is tipped off the block. Ball is set to the outside. A little bit tight. Smart play by number three. That's Jordan Harder. And the attack down the line for number four, Katie Langelier. That was a great swing from Langelier. With that kill, number eight, Drew Allen heads back to serve for QCBC. They lead 19-13 here in this first set. And a little miscommunication on the Warriors side results in the ace for QCBC. Heading back to serve once again is number eight, Drew Allen. Another strong serve from Allen. That one's passed up by Waka. A nice tip from Free, and the ball is tight at the net, and unfortunately too many contacts will be the call, as well as a lift. I'm seeing the head official gesture. It's tough at the net when things get really tight. Yeah, you always want to be the one that puts that ball away. Sometimes it can be really exciting, and you want that, um, you want that big block or that big kill, so it can, can get a little difficult, but it's always important that you just want to stay composed and make sure you're staying on your side and staying clean. Absolutely. Heading back to serve after her ace there is number eight, Drew Allen. Another strong serve from Allen and another ace for Drew Allen. She extends QCBC's lead to 10 here as QCBC leads 23-13 here in this first set of action at the U14 Division II Provincial Championship Final. Allen to serve again. And that serve just sprays off the arms of Drew Jacobson, another ace for Drew Allen. I think we're really seeing the importance here of tough serving. It can really um, set the tone for the team and help you build confidence throughout the rest of the set, which I think is what QCVC is demonstrating today. An aggressive, an aggressive serving run comes to an end from Drew Allen as that she misses just a little bit long. That sends number three, Jordan Harder, back to the service line for Waka. Ball is set high to the middle for QCVC. And a good high swing just tickles off the block there. 
with that kill, the QCBC Royal Ravens Purple have won the first set. We will take a quick break here and come back to you with more live from the Hank Rise Soccer Center, the U14 Division II Provincial Championships. We'll be back right away. And welcome back. We are just getting ready to start the second set of the U14 Division II Provincial Championship Final here between the Waka Warriors and the QCBC Royal Purple Ravens. Uh, in first set action, we saw the QCBC Royal Pur Purple Ravens take a commanding lead and end up winning the set. Now, Janelle, what are some things that Waka needs to do in order to be more successful this set? I think Waka um, needs just to have just a bit more confidence on service Eve. I think that QCVC kind of dominated on the passing line or on the serving line, but I also think that they could take a bit more risk with their attack. We saw QCVC have some pretty big swings in the middle of the set, kind of um, get, getting the, a bit of confidence for the team. So I think Waka could also just take a, a couple more risks on the attack and try to hit those deep shots when they can. Absolutely. We see our down official checking the lineups and making sure everyone is where they need to be. Once everything is checked out and good to go, we will see number six. This is Alina Chartrand up to serve for the QCBC Royal Purple. Good opening serve from number six. Continuing to serve after a great first one is number six, Aliyah Chartrand. Let's serve from Chartrand again. And that attack is passed up once again by Aliyah Chartrand. And a nice strong swing from number 12, Kara Peters. She saw some big hands in front of her but still took a rip. That's her first kill of the match here. And unfortunately, number six, Aaliyah Chartrand's serve sails a little wide. That sends number one, Drew Jacobson, back to the service line for the Waka Warriors, looking to get her team going here. Good serve from Jacobson. That's passed up nicely by QCBC. And a dump from the front row setter. And a lift will be the call on number one, Drew Jacobson. That sends number two, Alexandra Dvorak, back to the service line for QCVC. Short serve from Dvorak is handled by the Warriors. A nice swing out of the middle for Waka. And the standing down ball falls a little short of the intended target. That sends number six, Alyssa Bickham, back to the service line. Bickham to serve. And a great serve from Alyssa Bickham. She gets the ace for her team. Early in the set, it is a deadlock tie 3-3 here. We see number six, Alyssa Bickham to serve once again. That ball is set high to the outside for QCBC. Good down ball put in. And a free ball coming from Waka. See if QCBC can convert. And that ball is tight and handled by Free at the net. Ball is set high into the middle of the court. A well-placed down ball there. Free ball coming over from Waka. See if QCBC can convert here. Ball set high to the outside. A good swing from number 12. That's Kara Peters. And the swing from Kara Peters causes some confusion on the Waka side. Resulting in a QCBC point. Heading back to serve. This is number 13, Ev Pichet. Good serve from Pichet. That ball's tight, set to the middle. Good swing from Waka in the middle. Free ball sent over from QCBC. And a miscommunication in the back row for Waka results in another point for QCBC. Heading back to serve once again is number 13, Ev Pichet. And unfortunately, at the 14U level, you are not able to contact the ball overhand or in a setting position off serve receive. That results in a point for QCBC. They lead 6-3 early in the second set here. Good serve from Pichet, a short serve, resulting in a free ball being sent over from the Waka side. That free ball sails just long. It's a good spot, though, to think of for putting a free ball. Yes, exactly, and I think that's a good risk to take because often the defense isn't standing there. 
So I think that um, in situations like that, it's, it's a good risk to take and something that's worth trying. Absolutely. Head coach Corey Bickham has decided he wants to talk things over as QCBC leads early in the second set, 7-3. to three. We see QCBC continuing their strong pressure from the service line. Are there any adjustments you can think Waka should be making from serve receive? Um, I think communication is a big, a big thing. We've seen a couple times the communication break down a little bit and them not able to return the ball to QCBC. So I think um, each player wanting the ball and just being nice and loud um, when the ball does come to them so that the teammates are around them are aware of what's happening, I think is going to be a key piece for them going forward. Absolutely. Great points. And from the QCBC side, if you're head coach Brian Evans, what is he saying to his team? I think just to stay relaxed, uh, stay composed. You have a 7-3 lead and you want to try and keep that lead throughout. So just, um, yeah, just to try to stay composed and focus on your job and not try not to get too far ahead of things. Absolutely, as it is still early in this second set here. Heading back to the service line after a little break, this is number 13, Ev Pichet. Strong serve from Pichet. Results in a free ball from Waka. Free ball passed up by Pichet, and the setter dump is there. That's handled on the Waka side. And the down ball sent over, resulting in a free ball from the QCBC side. Free ball sent back over from QCBC. They're looking to convert here. A tight ball at the net is put back over from Waka. Free ball sent back over to the Waka side. Waka's looking to convert here. And a nice swing on the outside from 17. That is Taylor Metternak. A great rally we have here. Metternak will look to put it away. Good free ball down the line. Ball is set high to the outside. A nice swing on the outside from QCVC. This is quite the rally we have here. Ball set high into the middle and the tip sails just wide for number 14. That is Kayla Boreen. A smart shot though looking to change things up in the middle of a long rally. Yeah, exactly. That was a great rally. Both teams demonstrating their ability to swing hard and be efficient on their attack. Absolutely. Speaking of attack efficiency, oh, we see the attack fall just a little bit short from number 14, Calabrine. She'll want to be set here on another one. Continuing to serve, this is number 16, Julia Free. Good serve from Free. That's handled by QCVC. And our front row setter, number five, Kiana Eamon, taking advantage of that tight set and going up and dumping the ball. Heading back to serve now, this is number 12, Kara Peters for QCVC. Good serve for Peters. That's passed up nicely on the Waka side. A good swing out of the middle for Waka. And a free ball sent over from the QCVC side. A big, big swing from Metternak on Waka. Strong swing from Chartrand. She finds the deep corner. I think we're seeing QCVC um, able to mix up their shots and mix up their serve as well. Lots of their servers are going deep and then they have some that are hitting it a bit more short. So I think that makes it hard for Waka to find a flow and it just gives QCVC a little bit more variation in the, the way that they're able to score a point. Absolutely. Kara Peters back at the service line. Free ball sent over from the QCVC side. And the swing out of the middle. And the block is there on the QCVC side. That's number 14, Calabarine, shutting the door on number nine. That's Kira Trumier. Great attempt by number nine. It's always important that his are staying aggressive, and it was a great attempt to try and put that ball away. Absolutely. That service error sends number five, Julia Koning, back to the service line. Waka trails 10-6 here in the second set. Good serve from Koning. Ball set high to the middle here. A tip from QCVC. Good swing on the outside from Metternach. Number 17, Taylor Metternach finds that deep shot. Continuing to serve here for the Waka Warriors. This is number five, Julia Koning. Good serve from Koning once again. That's handled by QCBC. Ball set high to the middle. 
Looking for the tip once again is number 14, Calabarine. Nice free ball pass there. All set to the outside. Great swing from Chartrand. Metternak with the free ball. Good pass from QCVC. A quick set to the outside. That tip is just wide. Seeing a lot of good speed on the outside sets from QCB, see Janelle. Yeah, and I think Walk is doing a really good job of reacting to those tips. So they see it early and they're crashing in and they're giving themselves a chance to side out on those balls, which is really important. Absolutely. And we see a service error there from Julie Koning. That sends number five, Kiana Eamon, back to the service line for QCBC. Good serve from Eamon. That's passed up by Koning. Ball set over the net from Free. Nice high outside set. Good swing from Chartrand. But what a, a beautiful swing. Yeah, and such a great placement. That hard line shot is extremely hard to defend, and that's just a great, a great shot. Absolutely. And coming from a great set from number two, Alexander Dvorak as well. Continuing to serve, this is number five, Kiana Eamon for QCBC. They lead 12-8 here in the second set. Good pass up by Free. Ball set outside. Free ball sent over. A good spot from Waka. Ball is tight at the net. And those over passes can be so tough, especially when they're coming from up so high. That error results in a point for QCBC. Heading back to serve is Kiana Eamon. Good strong serve from Eamon. That's handled by the Waka Warriors. An attack out of the middle. A great shot from number nine. That is Kira Trumier. And at uh, such a great time, we're sitting at 13-9. So this is really the point when Waka wants to push and try and close that gap in the last part of the set. Good serve from Metternak. And the ace for number 17, Taylor Metternak. That ace cuts the QCBC lead down to three. Heading back to the service line one more time is number 17, Taylor Metternak. And Metternak's serve falls just a little short. That sends number 14, Cala Barine, back to the service line for the QCBC Royal Ravens purple. Strong serve from Barine down the line. Ball is set to the middle. Great swing out of the middle for Waka. Ball is set high to the middle on the QCBC side. That's a big swing from number 13, Ev Pichet. Yeah, number 13's really flexing her muscles there and showing that she can hit that deep shot. Continuing to serve is number 14, Calabarine. Good pass up from Free. And the attack coming on the outside from Waka. Chartrand with a nice shot. A good swing out of the outside one more time for Waka. Chartrand looks to put it away. Oh, and a great banana shot from Chartrand. She finds that line. That's a difficult shot, you know. Such a difficult ball to defend, and Waka did a great job of trying to get that up, but that's a pretty difficult shot, especially when you're not facing where you're gonna hit it. That does make it a lot harder for the defender. Absolutely. Another serve from 14, Calabarine results in the ace. That extends the walk up, pardon me, the QCBC lead 17 to 10 here in this second set. Head coach Corey Bickham decides he wants to talk some things over. We're seeing QCBC really hit their rhythm offensively, Janelle. Yeah, I mean, a couple of girls do have the advantage of height um, for QCVC, which makes it a little bit easier for them. But yeah, definitely they're finding their stride. And I think it's just important that Waka um, stay resilient and just stay with the ball even when it gets difficult. Absolutely. And Waka teams have a history, even when we played, of being very defensively uh, aggressive teams and not letting balls drop. And so we'll look for Waka to continue that mindset here in the second half of the second set. Yes, Waka has always been very scrappy, which um, is a really fun team to play, but can also be frustrating being the opponent to that. So I think that that's something that they'll want to rely on going into this very last part of the match. And with a 17 to 10 lead, QCBC Royal Ravens Purple will head back to the service line. 
continuing to serve for QCBC is number 14, Calaborine. Good serve from Boreen. Nice pass from Waka. And a swing on the outside. That's defended from QCBC. And a free ball coming over from the QCBC side. Oh. And a good swing on the outside for Waka. Ball's tight to the net. And what a great play from the Waka Warriors. A very close shot, almost too close to call. They're calling the lines person up to have a quick discussion. From our angle, Janelle, what do you think? Too close to call. Yeah, it's too close to call. Sometimes with the speed of the ball coming down, it's really hard to see, especially depending on what angle you're at. So sometimes, yeah, it's a lot harder to say than you would think. Absolutely. Being a lines person is a very tough job, regardless of what level. Uh, with that point, number nine, Kira Trumier heads back to the service line for Waka. She's looking to cut down this QCBC lead. Good pass up from Chartran. And the attack from the outside. Ball is set high to the middle to free. Free muscles it through the block. Free ball coming over from QCBC. And a big swing on the outside. That's defended by QCBC. And the setter dump is dug up by Waka. See if QCBC can convert on this free ball. And the down ball put over by QCBC. The dump from Waka is defended. Ball set to the outside. Chartrand with another strong swing. Too much heat for Waka to handle. Number six, Alina Chartrand is really putting up some good swings today, Janelle. Yeah, she is, and that was a great, uh, great dig by number 17. Sometimes on those hard attacks, if you give it just a little bit too much, it'll get a little bit too tight, but that was a great effort to try and get that dig. Absolutely. Chartrand heads back to the service line and gets an ace. Number six, Aliyah Chartrand will go back to serve one more time. It is 19-11 here in the second set. QCBC leads the Waka Warriors. Free ball coming over from the Waka side. And a miscommunication on the QCBC side results in the point for the Warriors. That sends number one, Drew Jacobson, back to the service line. Good serve from Jacobson. That's handled by Chartrand. Ball sent over from QCBC. A set to the middle. And a tip from Free. That is Julia Free with the tip that finds its way to the ground. Slowly but surely, Waka is cutting down this QCBC lead. Continuing to serve as number one, Drew Jacobson. Good pass up from QCBC. Ball is set high to the outside. Oh, and a nice shot from number 12. That's Kara Peters. With that kill, number two, Alexandra Dvorak heads back to the service line. Strong serve from Dvorak. Tough to handle from Waka. And a miscommunication on the Waka side as they try to pursue that ball. We see number one, Drew Jacobson. Looks like she went into the boards a little funny. Just an example, though, of Waka's great pursuit of the ball and defensive efforts. There is the fair play rule in effect here at the 14U level, meaning if you start in the first set, uh, players who did not start in the first set must begin in the second set, and substitutions are typically not allowed unless for external circumstances such as this. Taking a little break though, a uh, timeout is called by the head coach of QCBC Royal Purple Ravens, that's Brian Evans. He'll take a second to talk things over with his team. And as QCBC leads 21-13, we're getting later in the second set here. Um, What's something that Waka should really have in mind as they try to slowly come back? I think it's just important that they um, play all the way to 25. The game's not over yet, and as we've seen, 
all it takes is just a couple good serving runs to to put a team back in the match. So I think Waka just needs to focus on um, staying persistent and staying focused. And I think that if they do that, they it's still anyone's game. Absolutely. And Waka will look to serve tougher in order to put some pressure on the QCBC attackers who have kind of had their choice of shots with the strength of their passing. Yes, we've seen um, QCVC uh, be able to attack really well and also be able to put in a strong serve. So Walk is probably looking to shift the momentum and do that a bit, little bit themselves as well. Absolutely. We see QCVC ready back on the court. Waka comes back onto the court. Subbing on for Waka is number two, Joelle Koning. She takes the place of injured Drew Jacobson. We hope Jacobson is okay. Serving for QCBC Royal Purple, this is number two, Alexandra Dvorak. Her team has a lead 21-13 here late in the second set of action of the Division II Provincial Championships here. And Dvorak's serve falls just a little short. That sends number six, Alyssa Bickham, back to the service line for the Waka Warriors. Good serve from Bickham, that's passed up by Chartrand. All set high back, good placement from number 13. That's Ev Pichet, the ball falls on the Warriors' side. Heading back to serve after that kill is number 13, Ev Pichet. Good serve from Pichet. And although it was a strong pass up from Kiera Trumier, setter couldn't quite get to the ball for Waka Warriors. That extends the QCBC lead to 23-14 here in the second set. Pichet to serve once again. Good pass up from Waka. Ball set high to the middle. Good swing by Free. Set to the outside. That's a nice shot from number 12, Kara Peters. And Julia Free's attack is blocked. We saw number 12, Kara Peters, teaming up with number 14, Calabarine, to put up a very strong wall there. Continuing to serve now. This is number 13, Ev Pichet, serving at match point. It is 24-14. Ball is passed up by Chartrand. Set high to the outside to Peters. And Peters can't quite handle that ball. Was set a little too far out, but she made the best she could of it. That gives the Warriors a point. It is now 24-15, their second match point of the day. At the service line now is number 16, Julia Free. Good pass up by Chartrand. Ball set high back to Evans. Pardon me, Peters. Her attack sails just a little short. Continuing to serve is number 16, Julia Free. Good serve from Free, passed up by Chartrand. Ball set to the outside. That's Ev Pichet with the swing. Good swing by Metternak on the outside for the Warriors. Ball set high to the middle. Another good rip from Pichet. Smart shot on the outside from Taylor Metternak. And the tip falls for number 12, Kara Peters. That ends our U14 Division II Provincial Championship final. The QCBC Royal Ravens Purple have defeated the Waka Warriors by a score of 25 to 16 in the second set. Lots of great volleyball being played here today. Both coaches should be happy with the effort from their teams. Do you agree, Janelle? Yeah, I think both teams really had a good display of effort and a good display of skill. I mean, there was lots of good rallies throughout, and I think that both teams performed at a high level. I just think near the end, QCBC found a way to get their offense going a bit more, and it ended up um, helping them achieve the, the championship today. The girls worked hard coming back. They got in a few rough spots, and they focused and were able to execute eventually. They got to a slow start a couple times, but they were able to uh, get back to the basics and execute and get things done. Absolutely. And what was it like working with this group of girls throughout the season? Oh, it's fantastic. A great group of girls. Uh, they're all good. Parents are all good. It was a real treat to be able to work uh, with them and the families. And uh, they worked hard and they worked together, support each other. So that's all I could ask for.